Hi, I'm Katie. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a members directory in WordPress. It's going to look a bit like this one, where you have a table listing all your members and you can have whatever information you like about members, name, location, email address, uh, skills, whatever you want to um, record about your members. And you're going to be able to click through to the individual profile page for each member as well. So I'll just click on one now to show you. So you'll be able to click through and see a profile of each member. Or if you want, you could disable these links in your members directory so that you just have the directory itself with any information in the table. You do not have to have the individual profiles. So I'll show you how to do it both ways. Here's another example of a similar directory. As you can see, again, we've got a table here. You can choose how many entries show on each page and it will change the table accordingly. You can click on um, different categories to sort by that category and to um, you can search the table. Um, let's type London or something and, um, and it filters the table. So nice interactive members directory with various columns of information about your members. And if you want, you can have individual member profiles too. We're going to do this using some um, mostly free WordPress plugins with one paid one, which is called Post Table Pro. And that is the plugin that allows us to display our members in the table. Apart from that, everything I'm going to teach you is free. And let's get started. The first thing we're going to do to create the member directory is to create a custom post type called members. A custom post type will add a member section to the left hand side of the WordPress admin here and that will make a nice easy place to be to keep your member information without confusing it with the other data in your admin. So I'm going to create a custom post type using a plugin. If you are a developer and know how to create one programmatically, then you can create a member's custom post type with your usual method. But I'm going to use a plugin called Custom Post Type UI, which is a nice easy way to create a custom post type without needing to do any coding. So if you haven't got this plugin installed already, as I have, then go to Add New, search for Custom Post Type UI and install and activate the plugin. Once you've activated it, you'll see a new section here on the left of the WordPress admin called CPT UI, and we'll click on that. It takes us to the Add New Post Type tab within that page, and that's where we're going to add our members custom post type. So I'm going to write members, and it will automatically make that lowercase for me because it's the slug. That is the um, URL that appears in the address bar. You don't have to call it members, you can call it something else, but um, I'm doing that because that's what most of you will probably do. Then you write the plural of what your custom post type is called. So I've written members and you write a singular version of it as well. So those are the three key pieces of information. We're then going to scroll down to be honest, you can ignore most of this. There's tons of fields, as you can see, but most of them don't bother with. Feel free to read through if you want to. But we stop at the support section. Now, this section tells the plugin which fields you want to be able to add about your members. So by default, you've got the title, you've got the editor, which is the main description, and you've got the featured image. I also want to have excerpts and custom fields because we'll be using these in the example I provide to you later. And you can add further uh, ones if you want, but most members directory probably would just need these. Also go down to built-in taxonomies. If you will be dividing your members directory into categories or tagging your members, then click categories and tags. And that will allow you to categorize your members directory. So you might want to have sections for each country or city or something like that. Maybe divide them up by their level of experience. If it's a list of consultants, there's lots of ways you may want to divide up your members list. So categories and tags are a good thing to activate here. And then we click add new post, add post type at the bottom. And it says members has been successfully added. So that's great. So now you can see that a new section called members has just appeared in the left of the admin, which is what we want. And um, you could add a new member here, but before we do that, I'm going to show you how to create the categories. So as you saw, we activated categories for our members custom post type, and I'm gonna click on that now. 
You'll probably recognize this page because it's exactly the same as the um, posts categories. And that's why I've already got some here actually. Even though I just created my custom post type, it's pulled over the categories from elsewhere on my site, which is fine. So I'm going to add some categories here. I'm gonna add one called UK. Um, so it's the usual stuff for adding a WordPress category. You add the name and the slug um, and add new category. I'm going to add just a few more while we're here. Um, so what I'm going to do in my example for you is divide it up into country to show you how to structure a members directory, but you can do it in different ways if you want. Right, so I've added four countries, which I will use, and there, see they're appearing here. So that's the categories. The next thing we're going to do is create some custom fields, which we will use to store extra information about our members. Again, if you're a developer, you can do this using whatever method you prefer, but otherwise, um, and to be honest, most developers use this too. Everybody uses advanced custom fields. This is another free WordPress plugin. Um, so you go plugins, add new, search for advanced custom fields, install and activate it in the usual way. And once you've done that, you will see a section called custom fields in the left of the WordPress admin. So we click on that. These ones are ones I'm using elsewhere on my site, so we can ignore the field groups I've already got. What you want to do is create a new field group by clicking add new. And at the top here, you enter the title. So I'm going to call it um, members. Member data makes sense, doesn't it? And with, nobody will actually see the field group. That's just for your organizational purposes behind the scenes. So you click add field and the, all this opens up. I'm going to add three fields. I'm going to, uh, two actually, phone and email. So phone, that's the label. It will automatically create a slug. And phone number, um, I'm gonna keep it as text. Um, yeah, let's, let's have it just as a normal text field. That's what most of you will want to do. Um, you can write some instructions which will appear in the WordPress admin, but pretty obvious what you enter in phone, so I'm not gonna bother. Is it a required field? Um, again, that's just for you when you add the members in the admin, do you want to be forced to add that before you can save your member? I'd say probably not, um, and so on. So um, we've got the default value, don't really need most of this, and you can set a maximum limit if you want, but probably not relevant. So. Then we want to add another field and I'm going to write email this time. Again, once I click here, it will populate that for me. And um, there is actually an email type um, which does some validation stuff. So you can have that. And then we've got our two fields and that's all we want. What we want to do next is scroll down a bit more. So just to recap, so we've got our two fields. So one, two, and then we scroll down and we've got a location section below. What you want is to activate that field group on your members custom post type. So here we've got post type is equal to, and you want members. So it's show this field group if post type is equal to members. That's what we want. So that will allow us to view that post, view that field group on our members when we add a new member. So that's exactly what we want. Um, and that's it. So we scroll back up to the top and we want to publish the field group. And what that will do is add the field group to our add member page so that when we add a member in a minute, you can add their phone number and their email address, which is exactly what we want. Next, we're going to add some custom taxonomies, which we will use to further define and um, organize our members directory. So we've already created some categories for the area. If you want to um, find other ways to sort your members directory um, using other means, then you might want custom taxonomies as well. So to do that, we're going to go to the CPT UI section again. This is where we added our members custom post type. And instead of going to add edit post types as we did before, go to add edit taxonomies. 
And what we're going to do is create custom taxonomy for the level um, of your members. So say if you had a directory of consultants or something like that, you might want to have taxonomy for their level of experience so that you can either have separate tables for members on each level or you could um, allow have filters so that users can filter to find an experienced consultant or something like that. So we're going to go add new taxonomy here and the slug is going to be level. You can call yours whatever you want. And then um, again, we have to write the plurals as we did and the singular. And we want to attach it to post type members, of course. So we do all that fairly straightforward and click add taxonomy. And that has now saved it. So we can go to edit taxonomies and um, actually add the content within it. Uh, so there's two ways to do that. You can do it via edit taxonomies, but the way you're most likely to remember is going to members and you see it's added a section called levels, which is quite clever. So just by doing that one page, we've created a levels page within our members section. Again, this is just like categories, which we created earlier for um, England, US, etc. But we said we're going to add the different member levels. So I'm going to add junior. So that's my junior member level. I'm going to write intermediate. And finally, I'm going to add a advanced level. Add new level. So I've created three different taxonomies, which I will be able to save against my members. So that's everything we've done to set up the basic infrastructure of our members directory. And next, we're going to actually start adding members to the directory. To add members to our directory, go to the members section and click on the add new option. And then you can start adding the information. You will follow this process for each of the members in your directory. So we'll just do a few now to get started. So you write the name of the member in the main title area at the top, and then a description. Um, this is normally a longer description. If you're having individual member profile pages, then you'd probably, this would be the main content of the description. Um, if you customize your member profile page, you may have it slightly different to this, but if you want a main area of text, then use this main content box here. And um, we'll scroll down the page. Um, we've got the custom fields that uh, we added earlier on. So let's add some phone numbers and also an email address. And the excerpt is a, it's an option for adding a shorter description. You might be familiar with from this from WordPress blogs. Often you'll add an excerpt for a blog post which will appear on your main blog category pages but not on the single post page. So to follow that convention for a members directory, I personally would suggest adding an excerpt which would appear in the main directory page in your table of members, um, whereas maybe the main content that we added here which is longer would appear on the individual member profile page if you have one. So with that in mind, I'm going to add a shorter excerpt. So that's my full description. I'm going to delete most of it and just have a sentence, um, which you might, that might be a summary or an introduction to the member, which will encourage people to click through to the member profile if you're using member profiles. That's what I'm using the excerpt for. And so we've added our two custom fields and excerpt. And then going to the right hand side of the page, um, we've also got our categories. So um, you may remember that I added UK, France, Germany and the US. So let's choose a country. Um, you can use categories in any way you want, of course. And um, I'm using them to show the country for each member. You can also add tags. It's exactly like blog post tags and it allows you to display tags for your members either as a column within your members table or as a filter drop down at the top um, so that people can choose all members with a particular tag. So um, I'm going to write English speaking as a tag and then we'll click add. And let's have another tag, um, maybe um, good communicator. So you can use it in whatever way, but if you were having a directory of consultants or somebody with particular skills, those are the sorts of tags you might add. 
in, under the levels, um, you've got exactly as with tags, you can add them here, but you may remember that I added them here earlier already. And that allows me to reuse levels, um, which it hasn't come up with strangely. So we will just type intermediate in there. And once you've done that for a few, it will start to come up um, in here. So if you click choose from the most used levels when you've added them for other members, yeah, that's why it didn't come up because I haven't added it for any members yet, then that will allow you to um, avoid duplication. And so I've written intermediate and clicked add. And I'll explain that better in a minute because you'll see me add another, men another member where I've already entered intermediate. I'm also going to add a featured image and that's going to be the profile image for the member. So let's choose a picture and upload it. So this is the normal WordPress um, uploader and we're going to drag it into there. Um, yeah, just do it whichever method you like to upload images in WordPress. You could equally go to the upload files tab and um, navigate to your image. And so we've uploaded the image and we click set featured image. And that's it. We are going to publish the member. And I'm going to do that two more times. I'll do it a bit more quickly um, so you don't get too bored. And um, just to get you into the flow of adding members. So let's, um, let's add another member. So we've got a title, we've got the description. Moving down the page, we've got her phone number. And we've got her email address. Got a brief excerpt. I'll choose to make it different to the previous one. And then we move to the next column. We're going to choose her category, which is the country she's in. I'm going to choose some tags. Let's say she's French speaking. And numeracy. And for levels, this is what I was explaining a minute ago. Now we can click choose from the most used levels and it will say intermediate here. Um, so you would select that if you wanted to, one that you'd already done before. And that prevents duplication. It's better to use an existing tag rather than write it again because um, it will appear twice in your list otherwise, which will look silly. But instead I'm gonna write advanced for Sarah and click add. And then I'm gonna upload a featured image for her as well. So let's drag that in just like that and set featured image. So that's our second member. I will publish and I'll just really quickly add another one and then we um, will conclude this um, part one of the tutorial and in part two I'll show you how to display these members in a table. So that's the second um, one. Right, so got a name, done that. Let's choose the US for him. Um, phone number. And I should exit. That's the left hand column, then in the right hand column for the final time. Um, this time I'm going to choose from the most used tags. I'm going to choose something that I've already entered and I'm going to do right beginner level there. And finally, we've got the featured image. So let's find another image for him and add him to the table. Right, set featured image and publish. So I'll show you the list of them in the members. So if you go now to the main members page within WordPress, you can see the three members which I have added. And so what we've done within this tutorial is we've created our members custom post type. We've created custom fields, categories and taxonomies to store information about our members. And we've added three members to get started. In part two, I will show you how to create a table displaying all your members, uh, which we, you, you will use as your members directory. And I'll also talk you through the individual profile page for each member. I look forward to seeing you there.